With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, so question is saying this, find out the major product obtained in the following reaction. Here is the reaction and we have to find out the product. So let's say this is our product P and we have to find it. So the reactant that we have, that is here you can see this that is alkene and alkyl system, right? So here it is a, you can see here, the system is like this. This is cyclohexene. This is cyclohexene and at this position, here bromine is there, right? So now you can see here, when this is, this system is treated with tertiary butoxide. Tertiary butoxide, as we know that it is a bulky base. So it may be right like this. So you can see this is, this will be look like this. Here these are three methyl group. So you can see here this is a bulky base. That means it will attack here where there is a less or you can say where there is a less steric hindrance. So now you can see here there is a hydrogen here. So since it is a base so it will abstract the proton here right. So now you can see here, this is a hydrogen over here and there is a hydrogen over here. Now you can see here, if it will abstract the hydrogen from this from this side, so that means this this carbon ion will will not be stabilized here. If it you can see here, if we, this bulky base that is tertiary oxide will abstract this hydrogen, so that that means this carbon this carbon ion is stabilized through resonance. That means we have to abstract this. And now you can see here, if it abstract it, so the bond go like this, and there is a formation of double bond here and conjugation system will form. So the conjugation system will be look like this. So you can see here the conjugation system will be look like this and the six membered ring will form. And this will be the six membered ring form. So this is actually conjugate, conjugated system. After this we have treated it. This is our actually first step. In the second step we have carried out the ozonolysis. We have carried out the ozonolysis. Now you can see here the ozonolysis and the ozone lysis, the, the method to carry out the ozone lysis is just simple. You have to just put oxygen over here and over here. Right? So now you can see here, if we write down the product of this ozone lysis, so you can see here, the product will be look like this. That means there are two carbon, one and two, and here you it becomes look like this. So the product will be look like this. Here, this is CHO here, and this becomes CHO here. And here, you can see this. Here, this is aldehyde and this is also CHO here. So that means here we get a two product, CHO and this CHO. This is dialdehyde product, glyoxal, right? So now you can see we have get a mixture of product. So let's start checking our option. And in option, you can see here, option A, we have all in the all option, we have only one product, A, B and D, right? So that means, but we are getting here two product. So that means in this way, I can say this option A will not be our answer, option B will not be our answer and option D will not be our answer because option C will be the correct answer because here you can see this, this is the same product that is shown here, right? So in this way, I can say this option C will be the right answer. So hope this answered your question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.